Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out how to get the Ashura, which in my opinion is the coolest katana in Final Fantasy XV, comrades. So let's just jump straight into it. The first thing we need is the Onikiri Blade, which we can buy from the arms dealer here in the Starlum very early on in the game once we've got the first arm schematics, which we'll get pretty much automatically if you just keep on doing quests. Once we have the Onikiri, we need to go over to Sid and upgrade the weapon. While upgrading weapons in the Comrades DLC, we need to be very careful of what materials we use. As you can see, the max level is 30 for the first tier of the weapon, and each material we use will upgrade at one level, and obviously depending on the material, we'll upgrade different stats as we go. So why do we need to be careful? As you can see, some weapons have a separate level bar below some of the attributes. For example, here with the Onikiri, you can see the fire resistance stat um, has a little bar below it. We need to max out that bar before we level the weapon up to max, because if we hit max level 30 with this weapon before maxing out that stat, it will not transform into the Ashura. So how do we make sure this happens? As you can see here, just scrolling through the materials, each material does a different thing, as we said before. You need to find the ones that upgrade fire resistance. For example, bomb fragments are really easy to farm on one of the early game quests, and these always upgrade one fire resistance a level. I don't think it's going to be enough by just using bomb fragments. You may hit level 30 before maxing out the bar. Um, however, I'm sure you'll pick up some other items along the way that get plus three, plus four fire resistance at a time. So as long as you pick up a few of those, then you can just max the weapon out with bomb fragments like we did, and you should be absolutely fine. So once you do hit level 30 with the weapon, if your fire resistance stat is maxed out, you'll get the option to transform it into the Ashura, which as you can see here gives us tier two fire magic, which is pretty cool. It's also worth noting that once you transform the weapon, you can continue leveling it up to level 50. Some weapons do have an extra tier 2 transformation. That simply means that for certain weapons, be very careful that once you transform them, keep an eye out on the stat bars to see if there's any more individual level up bars below any of the stats in case you need something for the next transformation to make sure you're not banging any useless stats into that weapon. So that's all there is to know about the Ashura. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.